Here is a transistor, and it's got three pins called the base, collector, and emitter. And this particular transistor is called a power transistor, which is why it has this excessive heat sink. And it just means it can carry a lot of current through it. So transistors are like switches, where with a mechanical switch, if you press the switch, there's an electrical connection, and if you release it, there's no connection. So the transistor is like that, except instead of pressing the physical switch, we can use voltage. There's another difference though, which is that transistors can be half on, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense for switches, but it's best understood through a water analogy, which is that think of the transistor as a pipe with a valve on it, and if the valve is all the way shut, no current can flow. If you turn the valve completely on, then all the current in the world can flow through the pipe, but if you turn the valve about halfway, then the current is limited. The transistor also acts as an amplifier, where a small control voltage will lead to a large current. The control voltage is applied to the base pin, and then the large current that's being controlled flows from the collector to the emitter. This is a template circuit for using a transistor. The transistor's base is controlled by some mysterious voltage giver, and then the emitter runs through a load to ground. This circuit uses a pot on the left-hand side as a voltage divider, and then the output voltage from that runs to the base of the transistor, acting as the control voltage. The controlled path runs through the LED to ground. We can add this DC motor to demonstrate what the power transistor is really good for. The DC motor draws so much current that it would mess up the voltage divider if it weren't for the transistor. 